that in, but it's done, mate. It's going to clear on up, won't it? It's been nine years since we've been to Fraser, so this is uh, brilliant. Epic! Here we are, we've arrived at Eli Creek and it's amazing. There's this lovely fresh creek. Gary is attempting to fill one of our ladders for our shower later that we can heat in the sun and it's like a solar shower. I look like a right idiot trying to fill mine up, took me ages. There's so much air in it. We've blown up, he's blown up our uh, Lilo's over there. Here's our truck. And we're gonna go out in the creek and hunt it. Awesome. Floating down Eli Creek. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, look at that bloody timber. There's our Lilo. Oh, guess it's gonna crash. Oh, sorry, that's banky. Uh, You're gonna have to pedal. We can't steer. How, right, not, to get, how not to go down Eli Creek? Keep going into the bushes. On this side. <laughs> what do you go, Rivers? Uh, you on there? Yeah. You tangle your leg, my leg over there, I'll grab yours. I'll grab yours. This is how I got you. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Give us a push. <laughs> Thank you. <Hey. laughs> I just got a push <laughs> off, guys. Oh. Well, now I'm going into. <laughs> I'm going into the bush. Oh. The ladies gave me a push off. <laughs> Here we are, waiting on you for this on our Lolo's loving life. Where would you rather be? You have no control. <laughs> oh, I don't. I don't anyway. Sorry. <laughs> I just go. I just. I just ran someone over. Oh, this is lovely, lazy river. All I need is a cocktail. Guys, get to Tom Collins. Oh, it's the most amazing place at Eli Creek. The water is crystal clear, as you can see. It's Cold, but because it's summer, it is just lovely. Let's get that! Hey! Oh no, it's been a long day. Yeah, come, come to Fraser, get your lilo or rubber ring and just float down Eli Creek. It's to die for. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Smashing. I'm trying to get to Gary. I just can't quite get there. <laughs> Oh my 
my foot, it's on my foot. Uh, <laughs> Working my way back to you, babe. Hello from Mahino Rex. Fraser Island. but just down from there is the QPWS waste transfer station and there's Gaza with our rubbish there's a gate to stop the dingoes getting in there and um, yeah there's loads of bins here so there's no excuse to dump your rubbish on the beach or in the bush when look, there's like loads of big bins I don't think there's recycling but um, yeah, you can get rid of your rubbish quite frequently and stop the dingoes attracting to your campsite. So we're driving along the Rorali track in 4L um, for low. Hopefully, I uh, won't get stuck on anything. I guess he's doing a good job. You're right. You've got to take it easy, low and slow. Holy mm. Creek. Western Beaches, Christmas Day 2020. Hello. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Gary Rap special coming up. <laughs> After our long drive over to the Western Beaches, coffee's on the go. This is going to be our view for lunch. Not bad. Mm. And your wrap. Gay wrap, special. Spot on. Turn for the four wheel drive challenge. Yeah, Nacy's driving four wheel drive now. See if I don't stall it, it's going yeah, to be I've about three it. or four times on the Shut way. Shut up. <laughs> Nacy's four wheel drive experience. Yeah. Come on then, turn the power up the hill and Nacy's left hand fault, you could go. Here goes Nacy. Give it some nice push pump there. Oh. Yay! Easy! Easy with a right bit of kit, innit? Yeah. Awesome. You enjoying it? Yeah, brilliant. Love it. Christmas Day, four wheel driving. Fraser Island. Brilliant. She is showing off doing her four wheel drive skills. walking track. I think it's a little bit of a walk so we've got our backpacks with water and towels and stuff. And we're going to go 
check it out. There's our car, there's the ocean. Let me just show you. Parked up there, quite by the ocean. 2.3 kilometre walk to Lake Weddy via the sand blow. Whatever you do, do not make a mistake as I've seen some people that walk out here barefoot. I mean the sand was pretty hot along the trail anyway, but you then got to walk across the sand blow. And there's no shade. Look at that. Absolutely amazing. Obviously don't walk the wrong way. <laughs> You will probably die. Oh, fantastic. You've got to walk along here. Apparently people have um, got spinal injuries from running down the dune, sliding down the dune and stuff. massive this gather doing his own little private video on his phone <laughs> might steal some of that footage you wait when we get over this There's people down there. Apparently there are uh, loads of fish. See, absolutely stunning. Oh, a nice refreshing in, call off in Lake Webby. In Lake, is it Webby or Weddy? Oh, Weddy, is it? Is it? Oh, I can't remember. Can't remember. We don't care. After doing all that walk, we're here. Oh. Look, you see all the sand dune behind. People walking back up. There's some fish over there. I might try and webby, you know. Film them in a minute. Yeah, film that little climb on the sand dune. Yeah, that's what we got to do when we leave. And then walk two k's back. <laughs> but I'm not going to think about that for now. Let's go have a swim. Oh, smashing! It's so lovely in here. It's quite warm, isn't it? Yeah, it's lovely. There are catfish in here. Let's see if I can get close. I think these people have been feeding them, maybe. I think there's some coming. Yeah. Good to film them from up here as well. Yeah. Good, isn't it? Oh, he went right up to it. <laughs> the little ones. Yeah. Interesting to say, yeah, he went right up to it. He probably thought it was food. Yeah. We're sitting really still in Lake Weddy because yeah. um, they've got all them little fish that eat your good skin. Yeah. I can feel them on the back right now. It's, uh, yeah, it's so nice. Yeah, yeah much tickle. I'll bit. see one a minute ago, eat the skin on your back. Yeah. Went in. Well, you should get loads of them, maybe. If you sit really still, they will come round. Loads of them. Maybe, um... Free. Yeah, it's free, Pay, beat, pay, beat the pain for it. So we've driven up the island to Waddy Point, and uh, we're having breakfast on the beach. Hello. We'll show you the campsite later. We've got Moosey, the last of our fruit, nice and healthy. And I'll just, it's absolutely stunning. There's a little track to come onto the beach, and there's the beach side campsite. Oh, absolutely beautiful. On our way to Champagne Rock Port at Middle Rocks near Weddy Point. This is the road going out of Weddy. Ooh, bumpity bump. 
guys are doing a good job of driving as usual. Here we are, survived the drive to Champagne Rock Falls. It was a bit bumpy. And uh, here's your information. You are here, and obviously we'll uh, walk down there and show you. There's one viewpoint, there's Indian Head over there. Oh, thank you. Thanks very much. Yep. Look at that. Yeah. Posing. Did you get the beautiful blue eyes? Yep. <laughs> that, that's Santa on his holidays. Oh, lovely walk. Stunning, isn't it? Just doing the walk to it is amazing. Oh wow. That looks amazing. Go. that's what they call champagne rock pools look how fantastic that looks absolutely amazing obviously it's going to be busy and i'll see you down there we are down at the champagne rock pools oh it's lovely just walking in now So it's quite a tourist attraction and you can see why. Wow, look at that. Oh, oh that's brilliant. Now you know why it's called Champagne Rock Falls. I've got all the fizz. All I need is a glass of champagne. Oh. <laughs> on the bubbles oh it's amazing oh not many places in the world you can do this Fantastic, oh. brilliant, amazing. You come to phrase it, you've got to do this. Yeah. Oh. Lovely. Is this float in the now. champagne Bumps rock falls? Over the top. Big one, big one now, I might come over. Hey, everyone was coming. Another one behind you, a big champagne. Yay! How awesome. That's the big. Oh, oh, lovely. Good? Oh, Here we come. Them days in between the New Year and people don't know what to do for themselves. Come oh. here. Oh, awesome. Yeah, come here. Oh. Getting fizzed up. Fizz. Oh. Good though, isn't it? One of the worst roads on the island, I think. Yeah. Really bad. 
We've uh, driven from Wadi Point to Wathumba Spit and it's absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Those guys are moving the truck down there. Hopefully we're going to get the paddle boards out in a minute. Gorgeous. Some people camping up there, right by the beach. Some people look like they've set up for the day. It goes all the way around. It's lovely. Gorgeous, isn't it? That would be nice. I'll have a go in a minute. Standing up. Had a was sitting doing a bit of videoing. Really lovely. Go Gaza, go Gaza. Well, we paddle boarded across to the other side. We've just uh, arrived at the little uh, beach. Must be something to see in the water. Loads of them are going in for um, snorkeling. Oh, it's lovely. Yes. Beautiful. Oh, right there, that big boat. Yeah. Ooh. Careful. Sinky sand. Sinking sand. Sinking oh, sand. Oh, oh, stunning. New Year's Eve 2020, Wadi Point on the beach. Cheers. Only a few people down here. Look at that. Got the dingoes wandering around. There's no place I'd rather be. This is really, really special. We left our camp, just gone six, because it's we know it's a good hour's drive before we're driving to get to Lake Mackenzie. We've arrived and there's no one here. Just gone seven in the morning and we're really lucky really really special because it does get so busy and there's no one here oh, this is lovely it's absolutely stunning so if you want that opportunity you just got to get your butt out of bed leave early get here early And it's amazing. Feel really lucky. We know all the hordes are going to turn up. They reckon peak times are between 10 and 3. So if you want a bit of tranquility, come before 10, like we have. And it's just fantastic. We're going to do breakfast here. There's, you're not allowed food or drink by the lake to protect it. Um, only water. But there's a, a fenced off area to do food and have a picnic so uh, that's what we're doing. Oh, the sun's out. Oh, stunning. 
so that's my hot tip get up early get here early beat the crowds and you can have it to yourself for a little while anyway yeah we've had Lake Mackenzie pretty much to ourselves haven't we yeah. and we just paddled from all over there the beach you can see in the far to the other side without falling in on our paddle boards mm -hmm. and we're pretty chuffed with that yeah it's good for us yeah just stand up so just just let it bump at least you did it yay, yay! <laughs> <laughs> How cool is that? Oh, absolutely brilliant. Yeah. There's, there's, no, there's no one on the lake, there's no other paddle boarders. Yeah. It's just us. Just us. I see a couple of people just walk onto the beach just as we're going off. Yeah, that's so it. So get here early, you have it to yourself. Awesome, minute. Brilliant. Paddleboard in Lake McKinsey with her rash healer. New year. Yeah, she might crash in me, she's got no control. <laughs> but she had a good time. That's all that matters. Go on. We haven't done it for a long time, have you? Turn yourself around. Too serious. The concentration, <laughs> the concentration is immense. <laughs> oh, oh, nearly. <laughs> you can tell we're beginners. You did, you did a Marquez then. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, got it on camera as well. <gasps> The road back from Lake Mackenzie to Yurong, it's uh, quite bumpy and it takes about an hour because you just got to go really slow because it is um, pretty bumpy. It's the odd little flat bit but not, not much. You just gotta allow time and take your time, or you'll end up damaging your vehicle, and it ain't worth it. Yay! We've reached Yurong. We're nearly to the tarmac. After all that bumper to you ride, mm. and there's a shop here, fuel. There's a resort if you've got to glamp it up. Oh look, cold beers, cocktails, there's a bakery, you can get ice, gas, everything here. Yeah. Barista coffee, fresh bread, pies, it says. There's toilets here as well, um, but the, the water you have to get just sort of down the road and near the uh, police station. the drive from Yurong to Lake Birubin as recommended by the lady in the shop who is lovely um, the lady in the shop at Yurong she said it's just as beautiful as Lake Mackenzie 
but nowhere near as many people which is there's only a little car park so that reflects that so obviously there's a few people here so we're gonna go and check it out Look, pretty empty. That's it, it's stunning. Might have to have a swim here. Yeah. And a paddleboard. Looks perfect. In Lake Birrabeen. Lovely. You could almost think you're at Lake Mackenzie. So you're on a nice quiet spot that not a, not a lot of people come to. This is the place. Yeah, and sort of nice gas. Yeah, lovely. Lovely, isn't it? Yeah, cool. Beautiful. Lake Birrabeen. Lovely. Just a few people here compared to Lake Mackenzie. Are the only one up that end of the beach? <laughs> Drive stopped at Lake Bumenji. Another gorgeous lake. Fantastic. This is lovely and quiet, like Bureau Bean. Yeah. Got the tannins in this one, so it's a lot dark for the lake. So it's still got white sand on the beach in there. Lovely. Wow. Yeah, oh, that's lovely. doing the Lakes Scenic Drive. Awesome, best pizza ever at Yvonne. Amazing. And now we're just watching the sunset over Fraser Island. Absolutely beautiful. Um, so nice showers in our uh, solar showers, which is a little bit hot for me, but okay for Denise. Oh, I loved it, nice and warm. And um, yeah, just chilling out here now, cup of tea, relaxing. Watch the sun go down behind us, just look at the ocean in front of us, and uh, yeah, just, just take it easy then. Nisal, half a sniff of white wine, and she's pissed. Look, she tug a lot down the beach, Fraser Island. Let's have a look, see how many people are on it. Uh, no, there's no one there. Me, myself, and I. Okay, I'll turn around and have a look the other way. Any pillar on the beach? Nil foie. Uh, Can't see anyone. The only two pillar I know are on the beach are. Hey! <laughs> Up early with a cup of tea. Sunrise. All bleary eyed.
This is our little campsite at Wongai, literally just off the beach. We've set our swag up, got the table out, little washing line, set up the shower bladder, just hanging off a tree. You can come over this little sand dune, and there's the beach. And we've more or less got this section to ourselves. So we're not going to bother setting up the shower tent, just going to shower outdoors. Bingos. As, as long as you don't go near them and you, you have to just stand tall, stand still and then don't be submissive. Obviously they're wild dogs. Never feed them, never leave any food scraps or your waste bin. We always take everything like that with us. Because this is what happens when you go out. Our campers next door to us have obviously gone out. And the pack of dingoes are uh, having an investigation. Obviously I'm going to film from a dis safe distance. I'm not going to go near them. Hopefully that other camp haven't left any food scraps or their rubbish because that's obviously what they're after yeah so that's what happens when we go out they'll be around along across the island to Kingfisher Bay where the Kingfisher Resort is stunning we come to the uh, come to the jetty and the day use area um, yeah, and people are just turning up, so we thought we'd just walk along the jetty and take in the sights. Yeah. Nice and calm this side. Lovely. There they come now. There's some people arriving on the island. That's the ferry. Nice and calm this side, but between I think December and March, I think it said on the door, you've got to be careful of the marine stingers. People still going though, but it's up to you. It's the chance you take. Zero changes. At Kingfisher Resort, there's a day use area. So for likes of us that have driven over, or you're mm. waiting to get the uh, ferry back to the mainland, there's a lovely bar. We can get lunch and dinner. I hope it's at 11.30. And there's a nice swimming pool. I'm just going to show you. Yes, yeah, lovely. Look at that. All yours to use. Stunning. Also at Kingfisher Bay, you've got a beauty salon, general store, full drive hire, you can refuel. Oh, there's even a jet wash over there. Didn't notice that. Maybe we might have to give the truck a, a car wash. Mm. So there's not a not little nice little hub here. Day spa. Discovery Centre. Oh, maybe might have a look at the name in a minute. This is nice, isn't it? Nice and tidy. Fit inside Kingfisher Bay Resort. Lovely lagoon pool. Beautiful. We've stopped in the middle of the jungle just to listen to the sounds. And look at the tall, massive trees. Gonna stand over the gas so I can get perspective. Look 
Oh, give me glasses on. Yes, huh? You look gorgeous. You look gorgeous, Chuck. Look at the size. <laughs> look at the size of that. <laughs> it's messy. It's been there a long time, isn't it? Cool. Huh? It's absolutely huge. There is rainforest through there. Look at it. Beautiful, isn't it? Cool. It's absolutely look at all amazing. The palm trees and that in here as well. Sometimes you've got to stop and, and stare and you, listen. Could, could you heal the cooker brush? Didn't you? I didn't get them on there. Uh, but once one starts, they all go off. This is going to give it I'm a tree. A tree hugger. Ah. Ah. Not a tree hugger. Tree hugger. Oh, that pile belly. Attempt fishing on Fraser Island. We got all the gear and no, no idea. idea. <laughs> <laughs> You're not fucking good, you know, I won't get in there. You so how's your shoulder show? Oh, he's fucking awesome. Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's, a new, it's a new revelation, isn't it? So you have to be like a midget to for it to really work because it, boy, it has to be hooked up really high. But yeah, it's all an experience. <laughs> 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 being a step, so being a feminist, um, it's definitely the man's job to empty the toilet. <laughs> I don't want ever any part of this, so I'm all for the bloke's jobs. Is this? Get all the best jobs, guys, don't you? Yeah. Oh man! Anyway, there's no excuse for pooing in the bush. The facility's over here.